just saw some footage from a really quick road trip I took with my parents down to LA and we got to stop and eat at some local food places and also go to Catalina Island and I'm really glad I decided to go on this trip and was able to get two days off of work so it was really quick we drove down we did our things and then we drove back up and I don't feel like Almost. it took away too much from my training. Here are some clips of me trying to learn to ollie. If anyone has any tips on it, let me know. I do think I need to work on sliding my foot okay. faster on the board. And then I think what I'm happy with is trusting myself enough to try to at least make the effort to land on the board after my attempts. I've been able to catch some air a couple times but not too much and we got to spend some time at the beach um, which has made me think about taking up surfing again so I might try that later this year if I get a chance to be by the ocean again I did originally have a dream of moving to SoCal and becoming a surfer and so I did move down to San Diego for four years for college during which I joined the surf club, but I did not make it out to the beach as much as I hoped because I was really busy with classes, trying to get into grad school, and also I started to get more interested in bodybuilding around then. And I also realized um, from these beach handstands that it's really hard to balance on an uneven surface. So if the surface is flat, it's way easier to get air and stay balanced, but I don't know if you can tell, but the sand is kind of at an angle, so angling downwards towards the ocean. So it's really hard to adjust for that. So this is some training footage following the trip. And as you can see, I'm recording from the back because I can't bring myself to bring a tripod to the gym. I just feel like the only place I could really set this up would get in the way of other lifters there. And also, for training, I like to keep recording kind of to a minimum because 
it kind of takes away from the training session if you're recording all your sets, especially if they are higher intensity sets. So I just set up a camera against the wall and tried to see if I could tell if my hips were shifting or if I was doing anything weird. And these squats look okay. It is kind of not the best angle because if you're at a meet, you'll have judges to your side like your left and your right side and then right in front of you so this angle is where no one would be watching but um it's better than nothing to be honest because i haven't really recorded my squats much this whole training cycle um then i tried to shoot a little bit from the side and that was as much to the side as i could get with the setup at the gym and what i realized is it's right where the rack is um like the rack is kind of obstructing the hip crease so it's kind of hard to tell i'm pretty sure these are at depth but it's just funny of all the places that i set up like of all the places i could have put my camera i chose the spot where it doesn't really give me super useful information but again i can kind of tell that my back isn't doing anything weird it stays pretty flat speed looks pretty good looks like my weight distribution is decent, not doing anything super weird here. I'm pretty happy overall with this lifting session after getting back from the trip, which is a few days with irregular eating, a few days of not so consistent training. I did work out at the hotel gym, but I didn't have all my lifting equipment. And when you're preparing for a meet, it's kind of essential to have all that stuff, even though it sounds a little bit excessive. Um, it is important to have all the equipment that you'd normally be training with, so not having that there, I was really glad to have a few days to kind of have a mental break, because I was at the point of my training where I was feeling really beat up and really tired, and I think looking back, having a few days off of training um, isn't the end of the world. I mean, my meet's about a month away, but those couple days that I got to spend with my family, um, I think in five years or so, I would look back and say it was worth it. So long term, I think definitely was worth going on the trip, even though it meant moving around my lifting a little bit. So I really enjoy doing belt squats for accessories. They take the load off your spine and after lots of heavy squats, you don't have to focus as much on um, doing something that may or may not break you so it's a I'd say it's definitely more low exertion for me but still getting in the volume and I've never filmed myself doing this but the set before that before this one I did film and I saw that I wasn't getting as deep as I thought I was getting so this set I'm happier with how it looks but it's just a good thing to know is I thought I was going deeper than I was so um, thank you so much for following along. I will keep you posted. I have about a month left to go.